and welcome to week two of the Pengiro Vlog. Go. So we step go I'll do what I've been doing with the whole watch that goes and pause and watch the next one. This is got been, I've been turning out perfectly fine so far and why not? Okay, so for our first segment it was today was a tale of two wizards written by Pi Pyman K I can't pronounce that. Damn it. Don't look it up. But that person. Okay, so in this episode, we go they go to Wizard World, which I believe will repeat the one they did back in Gap One, which chronologically is the first episode. Um, we'll check my first mission. So, but they don't really say we're back in this world. If I get excused for the plot, so we we'll go back here, and they meet a, a new wizard that basically ends up being Wizard Cable and Boone. Yeah, boom, and it confirmed that they want to replace them with this new guy. Scotch. Go, uh, this couple code. Eh. Yeah. It, it, it's not a little of a, it's okay kind of thing. It's like, you know, I, I mentioned in one or two episodes, and you've been getting slightly crusaded stories that make it kind of weaker. But this one, this one is about, some parts we can make me one I don't really gay and that's kind of bad. Nothing too bad. It's not dud, but it's a weaker one. Um, the fact that the was can have Purple Girl, my least favorite from scene one, particularly Purple Girl, and I'm going to have to be talking about it later on, apparently. Um, but I'll get to it. I'll get to talk about that when we get to that one. But, um, but uh, this one is roughly like a rogue. I, I would gay. I kind of, uh, the problem with this one, well, the one, well, it's actually kind of two problems. One is that one particularly funny. I don't know, acting very up would be really funny. Come up with those going like that. But this one is like the way fuck it go. But it's, I think it's a joke. Definitely. It's definitely just really funny. The best joke. <laughs> yeah, well, this one is one running gag, and basically Boone got some golf and a good crane. Many of them call fat and kind of you look. He's he funny, yeah. But he had basically nothing. You know, it's like at one point you just kind of leave, but then come back and then die, I, I guess. Um, that was just it's funny, yeah, but no, what? You know, my favorite, there's a lot of jokes, definitely, definitely, but because it's like three fucking, because not much room to have being funny, and enough, and both of you have more amusing, I think, just fine. My favorite joke of Ryan Gang, they just got the fellowship went on forever for free ventures for nine hours. Ah, uh, I can hear what you did there. <laughs> that, that was my favorite joke. Oh, that was actually nice. Yeah. And, um, I think over, you know, the play thing I do like, make it, I like, um, um, then it's a gang gag with Rip and I like, <laughs> you know, um, they create this big blog thing where they're gonna ramp to the castle and they leave out one party for, and it's probably just the spare part and when I fight some gang later. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, and by the way, this thing of Boom Kendrick up coach being uh, Pen and Kashi are basically Pen for some kind of this one, but they, they have a pretty solid role. Uh, in the sense that it's Boom Kendrick and they're both equally equal, well, Kashi and Lost Lion, kind of thing. But, um, yeah, it's really like chronically, I kind of think. I'm like, that one problem of that is that I don't know if we've ever done before, we're gonna just, this thing of Boom Kendrick, we're gonna cute. They have to be about him. And they both get some fucking lines too, so it's not like. So, definitely the main problem I do have with that is a really cliche plot in the a lot. We know that I can actually replace them, you know, and honestly, I can't decide how. It, the thing is, they don't feature as many of a sign, you know, you know, but the thing in Pentecost is not particularly bad. It's like, they just kind of came to, like, this new guy and it's like, boom, but they don't they do anything like. Beyond that, which we all with Boone, concerns are purely hidden again. At one point, he doesn't bring some bad things onto himself by trying to take men, and it cannot let anyone do anything, which, yeah. But eventually, he does have to kill the day anyway, we're not talking about to be, have been useless, so, you know what I mean? I'm kind of pointing back on that aspect of this one, it's fine, it's kind of back here. But before it just, the code of the plot before, I was kind of bored. <laughs> For a lot of it, but again, they did come from Granite Canada, and Kashi don't look, they look too bad on them. You know, but it just kind of a lot for it. It's like, we know 
they'll come over part of that. You know, in in basically early on the panic pack on with an error that they left Boone out of, then Boone think back to Kai that I'm not liking him. And it turned out only did it because from twist that come out of nowhere and no more trying to work it at all. You know, it's like and you know, it's like if they just I can't spoil it, but they established a certain thing without calling attention to it, then they could have built onto it instead of being oh, it's because of this again has nothing to do with anything, but and also, uh, Ryan, also one part, yeah, where Ryan actually, you know, Ryan went to the crease. But he's like, he actually didn't actually have long independent kega tape in the second. Like, it was, like, it's a bit brief, but he's like, yeah, yeah finally, sort of, yeah, it's like, come on, be, be probably the friend of friend more than that. You can't, you can't blame Boom for thinking, you know, this is going that I mean, I don't think you need to have that kind of moment, but I feel like if you want it to be more on its own, I don't know. It does something better in a spot, but I'm trying to get done kind of the same issue in the sense that, yeah, they try to have that thing act. I'll be, I'll be fair, you know. You know, if it was ever we get because they also had tried a balancing act to them. It's just more of a personal thing, because I do care for it. Oh, another joke I do like when he's like, hey, Mushroom, if we eat, we can get it for life. Like, it's how card to game a video game lady. I have nothing to do with video game. So I don't know why I have cook that one joke. Um, but, um, as for Ryan, the other guy, kind of a typical character like this, you know, he's so much better. Yeah. But, um, uh, that's how I'm going to say. But yeah, overall, yeah, this one, it's fine. It's just that, it isn't, I think my main problem is just having a big story I've seen before, so I hadn't seen it before. I probably would have liked it a little more, but it still would have been kind of predictable going and that could kind of prevent a couple of stories by focusing on it and getting interesting. It's not a story yet, so yeah, I can't see what they're doing. I also have been doing cool stuff, and I think they had, I don't know, they had a battle while we did it back before, I think it was like, if I was make a legitimate mistake, you should be had to take a bit for but at the same time, I make a good point in one game, so, yeah, I see this one more mixed bag than anything, but, this one I just call it decent, because it's like, it's in that ground where technically it's fine, it's just, you know, it's not particularly, you know, funny, or at least more amusing but funny, and it's a story I have seen before, so, yeah, I, I couldn't articulate, I tell you, with this one, but it's like, it's kind of aura of just kind of being old, though, but I kind of did. In fact, the worst thing that came out of the code, you could have thought shown, despite the show not being the best thing ever, the agony, I didn't get a couple of other, we knew this one, like, I feel like if the worst thing came out of the code, it's like, well, don't look at what I'm here for. Yeah, that purple one popped one, kind of my least favorite, because it's like a kind of weak ending. Of, but that could have tried a little hard to be, have jokes in me. It's a kind of joke, it's kind of something I don't care for. But, um, I mean, I think I'm going to try. I feel like it's a book on story I didn't care for. But, anyway, well, but, yeah, if that gets for a tale to a good, it'll go right. So, hopefully that's a little bit better and I'll see you in a second. Okay, now for Rockyland Papyrin, no, Rockyland Papyrin Gregorian. Okay, written by Kenny Burley, Bur Bur Burley, 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 I got the full goddamn name. Anyway, in the cup and go, Pembu and Kashi go to uh, a fantasy theme world where best in the glory of three rankings where basically we're going to rock, paper, paper, a rank of rock, a rank of paper people, and a rank of paper people. Now basically, the good people are war with paper people, and they need to get the rock people to help them out. You know. Uh, essentially. Um, so this one's pretty fun. Not like my favorite thing, but it's a good fun because for one, very Game of Thrones -y. like when they go, when they first see them, we see a little montage that's going to Game of Thrones intro. I've never seen a show, I've just seen Big and Peek again that intro, and it's a music very much like Game of Thrones. We have from Lord of the Rings to Game of Thrones. So that, that was cool. That was going, they can't be really creative, turning rock people into an doing epic battle. And I do like the design, especially the Cougar people, I can't describe it, they got their fingers and I'm like, um, it looked really funny. I don't know, it's the way I like around I thought, I think that guy was pretty funny here. Um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. It was a fun little guy, kind of too, as. 
you know, and that first story so you know, again, they definitely can track each other in terms of, um, character. Yeah, and the episode will actually have a little more about basically forgiving people, you know, when you need to, especially when it's not that bad. So, hmm, Tashi has been sad with one girl who didn't say hi to her, and she's been, even though she doesn't know exactly why, a little contrived, but I think it's pretty funny when Tashi just go. Go out and like as a girl, and people suck, you know. I think it's pretty funny. So, that's cool. It's you know, kind of, kind of like a kind of a typical kind of world, but I think it's funny. Go out, you know, turning out a cheek, you know. Um, yeah, you know, and they tie into a big story. This weird side thing with Boone having a crush on this one slot girl who. So I like him back, but it it doesn't help out in the end at least, so but um although it can all one of a weapon to the people that play things because it's like you know, very apparently poof she apparently went to play Boone Boone was like, okay. But now think whoever Boone took the role of is now married to her with the eyes not like her. You know, again, maybe hopefully that does I again I guess they are. Go at least going after him creator that anyway. You wait. So hopefully I'll check that. Maybe not for the show, but just in general. But um I, I like um I feel like um in the climax of Ben Boone is just going to help out everybody so I that can worry. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um so yeah, hold on it got some whole no concept and Again, the other one had more cake cut, more mix on it, and when you mix on it, you'll get more of looking when you're going solid. You know, rock solid, you will. <laughs> Where's my pie when you need her? <laughs> yeah, she was all the coffins really easily. <laughs> Got rock win in the end. Oh. <laughs> you know, I like, uh, and of course they tell you a joke, like, when they do pair cards dropping, like, that makes no sense. I never did understand that. Um, yeah, but, um, so. And also, like, um, ripping Larry Hamlet's chain and the same body to her parents and everything. And I think that's pretty funny. Especially gag at the end where it turned out like it's kept writing, like, oh, it's done that a long time ago. Um, also, like, at, in the government, my joke, not a whole lot. Again, they think a better way to balance story and blood, story and comedy, and again, look at what they're doing. And it's a fun little episode. Not like, you know what? I feel like it could just kind of make it better. I don't know what, they could make it funnier, could be the story in the world, but. It is a good story, it's a fun con fantasy concept. You know, and it's more creativity and but I think it's gonna have a role. Even if it bakes basically into kind of another lesson, I I feel like Nancy's saving a little bit for Sarah Kingan. But again, it is a good role, I think. So yeah. Bag all the time really came about that one. I had a lot more came about the first one because of how mixed it was. Kill so, the pairing, it's alright. Yeah, you know, first one, again, I think it's merely because nothing if I hadn't seen the story so much, and it was a relatively newish one, at least to me, you know, maybe I would be more forgiving, you know, by the fact that, I think my problem is that, because of the way that nothing really stuck out that much, it's just kind of a typical story of that kind, but nothing particularly bad again, I've seen worse versions of the story, and I've also seen better, I think, um, but this one was pretty fun, so, you know, take a leave, so, a decent one and a good one, I feel like that, with our trade. Anyway, tomorrow we have Be My Ghost Flash Witch and Chiller, which again pretty fun. So hopefully it will be um well yeah, another full week of premium VR again this Saturday. My Murphy VR comes back for making my love, which is a big hour long special. Yeah, another one. The first of uh the second of free special for the show was my first one had started about me anything. I haven't watched it yet, but basically a bunch of episodes just together. The first, like, four-ish episodes just together. And the guy can fix Milo, and I'll pick up more messages on that week. On it hat being that, when we get there. And we can keep having it for a finale on July 28th. Can't date the Emoji Movie. Go, oh, best day ever, right? Anyway, I shall see you tomorrow for the ghost in the chinchilla. Goodbye.